So where do you hope to see me in 10 years? 10 years time. By the grace of God, I pray that all of us will be covered by his wings. I want to see you at the top of your career. And uh, I want to see you with your husband, husband and your children up there. And at that time, I want to be with my grandchildren, all of them together. I pray that at that time we will be together at the same place at that time. So that all my grandchildren, I will be looking after them and you will be pursuing your career. That's what my mother did for me and that's what I, I intend doing immediately after my retirement. What is your favorite memory with me? As a child? Or I mean as a as a baby or as a just pick anyone. As a child. My favorite one was when the fe your first day in school, women's society, and all the children were crying. <laughs> the mothers were, many of them would run back. And my own daughter just got to the kids. I said, Mommy, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, bye bye. Oh, dear. What about my siblings? Did they cry on their own first day of school? No, but but they did not wave back to me to say bye bye. They were sad. Uh, they were uh, they were not they were neither happy nor sad. But you, I was excited. What, you were excited, and when I came for you in the afternoon, you just left your 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 table. Round to me, mommy. Eh, eh, eh. And so I was very excited. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, thank you very much. What was the best decision that you made when I was a child that you almost did not make? Oh, I've told you earlier. You know, from your primary school, you, 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 you used to tell me that, ah, mommy, I want to be. A lawyer. I want to be a lawyer. And what actually prompted you to medicine was when daddy said you wanted your brother to go abroad for medicine. Mm. And that one said, No, I can't. I said, Ah, daddy, me, I can go. <laughs> <laughs> if it's abroad, I will go. <laughs> and that I've was, always wanted to leave home. <laughs> <laughs> and that was what changed your your decision. However, me as a person, I always like all my children to make or take their own decision about the profession they want to go into. Okay, so what you're saying is that? So, initially I was like, hey, this girl is very good in like art subject to, hey, can she cope with science? But I said, well, if that is what... And I asked you about three, four times. Are you sure you can cope? You said yes. Are you sure you can cope? You said yes. Are you sure you can cope? You said people in science class, they don't have two heads. Which is true. And that was how you started. And uh, So you almost did not want me to read, to go to school, to go to medical school, but then you are glad that I went. Yes. Describe me in three words. Elegant, courageous, oh, but emotional. Mm. I can see that. I'm yeah. very accommodating. Too. Yeah, things get to me. I know. Very accommodating. Very courageous. Anything. I can do it. I can do it. And I will do it. I'm very accommodating. You can accommodate anybody, no matter what. That's nice. 
I like that. So instead of three, I gave you four. Thank you. I'll, I will accept. <laughs> what is the best gift I've ever given you? If I tell you, you will not believe it. Eh? What is it? When you came back in 2010, when you, when you came back for, for, holiday. for holiday, I saw one brush, one brush case, toothbrush case mm. with you. And I said, ah, this case is beautiful. Mommy, do you want it? I don't remember this at all. It's still with me. It's also what? I've been using it since 2010. I do not remember this at all. I brought it. If you want me to go upstairs and bring uh -uh. it to you, I will bring it now. And you will see it. That is so... And I've been That's keeping nice. it jealously since then. And it's like... Well, I've given you a lot more expensive yes, things. Yes, but that one... Yeah. I said it once. I was like... So, I'm so important to this girl than even her comfort because you just removed your. If you want me to go and bring it, I'm still using it till today. I'm really quite surprised because I don't remember I'm this at all. I'm still using it red. Mm. Can I bring it? Don't worry, I believe you. <laughs> you didn't think twice. You just. You just. Mommy, you guys, you I'm a me. nice person, no? I'm just so me. nice. And since then, I just needed to ask ah and this thing is fine no? mommy do you want it <laughs> <laughs> oh dear okay just a few more questions okay what would you change if you could raise me again hmm. you are too blunt <laughs> but that's not a it's not it's not a it's not you how can I put it? To me, you didn't raise me that way. It's just a like a personality trait. Well, at least you 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 are too blunt. If you don't Nothing like that faces person, me. <laughs> but you don't like that person. Mommy, I don't like that person. But that was then though. I'm a, I'm a lot more Maybe now. Mature now. Probably because we don't live together for long today. Mm. I mean, but before, as a child, I will be covering your mouth. That is true. I was, oh God. I if was anybody, very immature. Mommy, you still allow this person to to visit you? Upon what? I will be covering your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't do that anymore. I'm, I'm a lot more tactful now. Okay. Yeah, I hope so. You know, since two thousand and eight, we haven't lived together for more than like for more than more than three months maximum. Maximum three months. Yeah, have we even lived together for three months? Maybe six think, weeks. Because uh -huh. the holiday was usually about six weeks. Uh -huh. <clears throat> what was your initial career choice, and why did you not do it? My yeah. Well. I had always wanted education. Okay. From day one. But my brother that I lived with wanted me to read physiotherapy. Okay. Or pharmacy. But I just discovered that I was not so good in physics. And the two of them you must have your credit in physics. So in my form four, when I discovered that I was spending too much time on physics, and at the end of the day, I you still get a C or something. Or something. <laughs> Without telling the man, I just changed from from physics to history. That very that very time, I was the best in history. And that was how I changed. Pata, pata. Do you regret it? At all. At all. Because I had always wanted to be a teacher. A teacher. I've never regretted it once. I look at you now, a professor. 
I've never regretted it once. That's nice. Yes, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have a good relationship with your son-in-law? This only one. <laughs> This one that <laughs> this one that can that can make you <laughs> they are always fighting. <laughs> but they, they love each but other. He, he can he can he can feed you to your to your <laughs> to your nose. He can oh feed gosh. you to your nose and can pull your legs till from from Preston to London. <laughs> But I have not had any regrets since. It's yeah. like a son to me. Aww. Always ready to lend a helping hand. I remember during my inaugural lecture, he was, he, he was so helpful. That was initial he went, stages. He, he was went, still, you know. He went out of his way. Everything I told him to do, he did. Yeah. Even now. He wants to satisfy us at all. In fact, everything he has, he wants to satisfy us. Take us out, buy us things. We just take you. Mommy, let me let me take you to Asda. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, ah, this this shirt will be good on you. That's true. He does that. <laughs> I will say no. How much? Fifty pounds. No, 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 no. <laughs> God, yeah, we just convert it to naira straight. No, no, I don't want that. <laughs> so, say, mommy, okay, you don't want. Okay, it's when we get to my. We just sit <laughs> in my bed. No. So I married well. You married well. You married well. They were little less well, so hello. You married well. Okay. So, um, was was it difficult to raise me? No. of you are quite easy very easy yeah but i did still manage to smuggle in lots of novels yes i used to buy now you were the cause of my problem with starting <laughs> to read novels because every <laughs> open day like this mommy will chatter books i like always this. save towards buying no, uh, no books. i used to love open days because i would get new I novels buy, all the time i will i will save towards it at times buy 20 25. There was a year I bought 30. I don't doubt it because and I and I will distribute and I will tell them I'm going to I will read though I will read though they didn't know that I will just go to the back and find the other. <laughs> <laughs> so before well, you start, I will tell you this is your own. I give you five days. You will come and tell me what you learned, what you've read. And before you start, I will say, this is what this book is all about. What have you gained? And so everybody is forced to uh, read. Yeah, but I think that was, you know, it was difficult to break that habit when school started getting more serious. Okay. So I would smuggle in books. And I don't know if you remember our library. I used to arrange my school books like this. Oh. So yeah, that it will block be... it will block my novel that I'm reading because I just couldn't sleep without finishing the book. So yeah, that was that was quite that was nice. Thank you for introducing me to books. I ho I hope the same thing with your sister. I hope you will introduce reading culture to your children too yeah. because nowadays most children don't like reading anymore. They prefer their tablets and stuff. Yeah. Ah, I think that is everything. What do you admire most about me? Your courage. Even when you are down, you will still be telling me, Mommy, don't worry. Even when I'm down, at times I will be down. I remember there was a time depression set in for me. I remember that time, yeah. yeah. And you will come to my room alone. I mean, don't worry. I think you were in secondary school. Yeah. Yeah. Was it secondary school? Secondary school, and yeah. 
that, that was my early 50s or so. And you will come to me and say, Mommy, don't worry, when I'm when I when I have money, I will take care of you. I'm still waiting to have the money, oh. <laughs> I'm still waiting to have the money. But at least now I'm closer to having yes, this. Yes. <laughs> say, mommy, when I'm so you are so at times when I wanted to cry, I will remember ah, I don't want this girl to see me. <laughs> Before because if I if I don't stop crying, you too you will start crying. Yeah. Soon. So I believe you are courageous and then there was a time when you failed your was it the exam here? Yeah. The first time. Mm. Oh, was it when I failed in uni maybe? In medical school that I said I wanted to quit and start yeah. coming home. And I said I failed in school. I was like, I'm done with this medicine, I'm coming back home. <laughs> And about uh, about two three hours later, you called me back, and you told me, "Mommy, I'm sorry for what I said. I'm not coming back home. <laughs> I will, I will, I will finish." So I believe you are a very courageous child, courageous and determined to achieve your aim. You don't usually take a no for an answer. So I'm a go-getter. Yes, I can see That's that. good. I like that. I like it. Okay, that is everything. Is there anything that you would like to, to tell me about? Other than to say thank you for taking good care of us. Aww. Our parents. That's nice. And that we are proud of all of you. You and your siblings. Anytime I remember when I was looking for the fruit of the womb and I see the three of you, I always give glory to God. That's nice. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming on my channel, on our channel. Thank you very much. Um, love you. Okay. Hi guys. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Um if you're Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, okay. <coughs> Somebody just put very spicy as well in this house, and now we are all sweating. That's why we're coughing. Hey, <laughs> Pamela! Desire, desire, the son of God. Desire, desire, the son of God.